Hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed with you. This is lesson 13 in TCL uh, Revit server side scripting uh, uh, for uh, the web. And uh, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about using cookies with security in mind. Now, uh, what are cookies? For those who don't know cookies, cookies has a story. The cookies are uh, an idea that came from the programmer who worked for Netscape and uh, this guy uh, had a project to do it for some kind of a patisserie i think uh, for a bakery shop and uh, they used to make uh, those uh, chinese cookies uh, which are called the luck uh, or the lucky cookies i don't know so the those lucky cookies you got your luck written in a paper that's stuffed inside uh, i mean the paper is stuffed inside the cookie and the cookie is baked as, as such so when you uh, uh, like you're distributing your luck inside a cookie that you uh, that your guest doesn't know uh, his uh, luck uh, and the luck is written on that paper. Okay, so the, uh, it's something like f uh, a fun thing to do. So uh, he took that concept and used it on the. Uh, websites now the reason is that he wanted to uh, follow up the uh, information that uh, that's uh, like when I, whenever you move from one page to the other so for example you want to say uh, on every page that uh, hello Rani on you know, every page so Rani is just one user but what ha what happens with other users or co connecting to that website from different parts of the world so you don't know their names so if, for example they, they used to form and just, they just saved it uh, somewhere so, so the website can read that somewhere which would which will be the cookie here in this context and then this way whatever the page that you're gonna uh, open it will read the cookie and the cookies are saved inside the browser okay and that's where you usually go into your preferences and uh, clear your history and clear your cookies so those are the cookies okay so the cookies are simply uh, it, with respect to the computer it's uh, an array uh, of uh, names versus values so the name and the value so it's like you're saying I have a cookie variable of name blah uh, that has a value foo okay so this is uh, how we follow up uh, the website now where does the security come security comes when I uh, for example want to see if, I, if that user has really uh, submitted his username and password so if he did he can uh, like uh, save a cookie because he uh, checked in with the uh, database that has and this is uh, explained here but I'm just like giving you the whole idea of what's written in the code so he will be having a, a check uh, point with the uh, database to check if he's, he's really that user who belongs to this database okay and then if it's, if so I save it into the save that username in the cookie and then whenever I open any page belonging to that website as a project as a whole okay if he uh, if he's uh, like opens that page like randomly without uh, going like uh, normal standard way of uh, following links and such and such okay you can just make it in a way that he checks out and he logs out I mean uh, from the uh, website for example he might access the page and he has not saved the cookie so you can tell him no you're not uh, the username uh, that I want and you tell him get out go to uh, the login page and submit your uh, username and password okay so this is the whole page here okay so if we look into the files that I have first of all I have the index page here okay then I have the uh, the page that I will be opening after I log in with my username and password this is where if the 
use if the authentication uh, is correct okay if the username and password are correct uh, I will allow the user to uh, list the items first and items is enough from the database uh, now this file for the configuration is just like a common file where every uh, file that will be I mean every script here the other the other scripts like for example the delete one the delete item dot rvt uh, will be using that so if the uh, if I want to delete I must have a connection to that database so the connection between the listing and the delete are uh, the same okay so for example if I have not SQL like I have uh, my SQL so you need a username and password and such so all those are within I mean they belong to the same uh, website uh, same uh, they are common to the website so uh, you can uh, just use one command which is called source and then you can uh, just join it to the data uh, to the script and it will run so and then there is a file here for uh, logging out okay so the logout will delete uh, everything related uh, to the cookie now we will see that now uh, let me show you the application in action okay so uh, first see the uh, address bar here so I start with the file lesson 13 index.rvt and I submit here let me make this always on top just for the sake of the lesson and I, s I set my password as root and the username password is root too so I submit see if I'm logging correctly you get uh, the first list uh, the list of the first 10 items here in my uh, grocery this is a grocery shop uh, database uh, barcode number and uh, the description in short and then delete the uh, one that you want okay there's a link that it goes to a script in Revit that can uh, delete the item now I did not implement the delete but just on the, just for understanding okay I just said it will be deleted okay but I'm not going to delete anything so and this uh, link here is uh, to uh, log the user out now so uh, if I select uh, delete here okay it will tell me deleting this number okay I can go back if I refresh it's the same still cool now um, and I can uh, click the logout and here it will tell me that uh, logging you out and then it will direct the page to the login page okay now let's read the code together and see how I did all this okay and I'll tell you later after the code uh, how the uh, like the this random access of files because you know their places in the database in the web server so now the files all the files are in the same uh, folder by the way are not in any other folder okay now this is our form of course just username and the password of input type password so you can hide the uh, password as you type it and then there's, there is the submit uh, key uh, button I mean so it should go to lesson 13 items list.rvt the one that we listed the um, uh, the items and the uh, of, uh, of barcodes and descriptions now moving to the next file which is the items list now here of course this is our command first here and then I'm going to do something which is called source lesson 13-config.tcl now source is a way to read a file and interpret it as a pure TCL you should not have any HTML skippings like what we did here with the 
less than question mark okay that escaping from HTML and jumping between HTML and uh, TCL okay so this is what the command source does so on the uh, so this is a kind of including the uh, commands that are inside the lesson 13 uh, dash config okay into the application so uh, it will be as if you wrote all this into the items this dot rvt file okay as if it's not really you did it but it's like that okay so it will be uh, reading the file start uh, reading the code of uh, items the uh, list starting from uh, lesson 13 dash config okay so all i did is just require the dio package which i uh, explained uh, in previous lessons and I'm just like usual checking if, that, uh, if there's a handle and also creates uh, a handle if it's uh, not existing. Now, going back, this is how I'm reading. So I, this is I finished the command source. I'll go back to the lesson and you have to understand that if the DB handle is not created, it will be used in the items list here. Okay. So it will be used in the items list in this file. Now, this is just easy. This is a get or post method uh, submission of the username and password. Now, this is our query just to select the username. I want to see if that username exists and it has to be uh, one username and I just limited to one. So if there are many similar usernames, no, I know it, it has to be unique. In the database this is how you design it but just make it limit one just to make sure you, you have really one okay from the database there's no uh, manipulation from somebody else so uh, select the username from the table called users where the password is the password that you submitted which is this one which is the taken from the get method I used get method inside the uh, here see it's a get method here so move on moving on so this is our query okay and I called the query find username query now I set the result this is something new in uh, the IO uh, not new in the IO I mean new from me in, the, uh, in uh, explaining the IO so uh, I advise you really to uh, read the manuals of Revet. There are heaps of um, so many commands regarding the I.O. I just concentrate on things that are uh, most important to our uh, lectures. So, uh, so this is our DB handle. Uh, there's a command named search, and it searches the table. Okay. Oh, I did not use the uh, this one. Okay, well, this is what I'm exactly doing using this same command here. Okay, so I say search the table users using the field username, using the value of username, and using the field of password, and using the, the value of password. Okay, now the I, uh, through that I save the results. In a variable named result it's just an object and uh, the dollar result okay will be sort a command so uh, in this way I can say from the results count the number of rows that I get from this result okay because the the output of the searching always is a table so there is a result coming out and I must have a, a row count okay so this is the number of rows I'm checking if it's not one because I must have just one and only one okay result to say that this user is correct okay so if I say the number of rows is not one then say a wrong username or password and then exit 
this exit means it stops everything after it okay it's like quitting the application simply but I did not say something just to make it go backwards okay I have done it in some in other uh, scripts now if uh, the cookie here how, this is how I get the cookie so if I say like if cookie gets username which means like I uh, I'm telling uh, through the cookie command to get the value of the cookie variable called username okay so if it's uh, empty this is me mean, this means if it's empty okay uh, then so I don't set the game because you're not allowed to set uh, to set uh, the cookie. Uh, I mean, uh, no, no. I'm saying like uh, if it's not there, you just set it. Okay, I don't want to set it many times. Okay, so because I, I want to make sure that uh, the same username is uh, set on uh, different parts of the uh, application okay it doesn't get set anywhere else so I'm saying here cookie set the username as the username uh, cookie variable as the value of the username that I got from the get variables okay from here to here then here I'm saying that though this is the time here days and hours and minutes is just uh, an expired date okay and using HTTP only this is true okay so I'm saying like the this uh, cookie will be deleted after five minutes automatically without you knowing so this means that when you try to uh, access this page again uh, it will uh, ask you for uh, the username and password okay imagine that I did it in somewhere like the deleting okay and after five minutes it expires so I must go back to uh, the login page so moving on here is just from here till the bottom is if everything is fine like there's a, there's a username, there's a password, there's everything correct just select the barcode and the description from the item uh, list from the item table and I want just only the first 10 limit 10 means limit to 10 items okay 10 rows here so this is how uh, I db handle for all query row just to uh, you know um, to execute the uh, listing query and then I get the BN and the DS okay barcode and the description and then here see what I did I can just make uh, a link on the fly so to send a get variable this way see I'm making another get variable that will be used inside the delete item rvt file and using the bn here okay from here till here see is a uh, revit just revit just to substitute the bn for every row that I get so I get to delete 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 like what we saw earlier so let me say for example say root root so this is what you get here see in the bottom let me zoom it into the bottom okay and here see what you get okay so 
So I get this address down. Okay, I want to point at it. I can't. So uh, I get the address lesson 13 delete uh, item uh, item 13 uh, item dot rvt, and then the barcode is automatically written for us through uh, TCL and Revit. Okay. So it's substituted in the barcode equal zero three eleven uh, until ninety two. Okay. And cool. Let's move on to the delete script. So if I click on the delete item, here, uh, it will check here for me if there is a username because I'm not going to allow anybody who tries to run this script uh, right on like this. Okay. Uh, now imagine that I first did the logout. Let us do the logout. So this is the logout. I deleted the uh, username value. There's no username anymore. And this is just a JavaScript that will uh, make that uh, pop-up message and say to you, uh, log in you out. And then this is how I change the location to the index dot rbt. Okay, I said just set this uh, window dot location, and it will redirect it to the other page. Now, going to the lesson 13 dot delete item, all I did is just like telling you I have deleted this, but I'm not really deleting it. Okay, and it's the same if uh, this username uh, is not set, it's just redirected to the uh, uh, index page. Okay, so let's say I logged out. This is logout. Now you should be logged out. Okay, now you know that the delete page, okay, you know its address. So I say here delete item. I know the file name. Okay, let's say like this and it came I came like this. Okay. Or let's say like this directly, it doesn't matter. So it's just like you have the you know the barcode number and you want to just delete it without being logged in. So if I say like this, it will log you out. Why? Because I just deleted the uh, cookie. So this is how you make it secure in some way, you know. Okay. So this is all about uh, the uh, cookies, just saving data wherever you go, whenever you uh, want data from any user. Uh, logging into your page, you want to uh, follow up what he's doing, track him, uh, you can use uh, cookies. Okay, I hope you like this lesson. I know it's a little bit long, but it's important. Uh, and I hope you uh, click on the subscribe button and put your comments. Thanks.